Okay guys, you asked for it and had a request to do a cleaning video on how to clean a shotgun. So this is it. Um, this is my Browning 325 Grade 1. And I'm um, not going to go into the whole specs of it and how to take it down. Just look at the um, annotated link to my review of this shotgun. And I've got all the details there. So I'm going to strip it down and uh, show you how I clean my shotgun. Okay guys, we're going to start into our cleaning. Uh, personal preference, I always tend to clean the barrels first, so we'll do that. I've got just a, a couple of gallon bucket, 15 litre bucket, with uh, what I use to clean my um, shotgun it with. So there's loads of bits and pieces there. And just uh, cleaning rods, stuff like that there that we'll go through. Uh, anybody uh, if I miss out anything in the video that you want, um, a name of something or a, a model number of something, let me know. Uh, but we'll crack on with the cleaning. So I usually clean the barrels in sort of two steps. Um, first of all, we're going to clean obviously the inside of the barrel, get that cleaned first. And then I'll take the chokes out and clean them. So just going to assemble my cleaning rod. Now a lot of you will start screaming going why aren't you using a boar snake? Boar snakes work a lot better. Uh, truth is I haven't got a boar snake. Um, had one, loved it and then lost it. So I haven't bought a boar snake yet. So I'm just using bog standard 12 gauge cleaning rods. So this is the hard brush. We're going to use that first. Right, and I'm going to use uh, either or of these really. You got Brunox spray, it's a bore cleaner, so you can use that. Or you have Napier um, cleaner and lubricant. Either or really, I don't mind what you use. Personal preference, I usually give it a spray of Brunox, especially if I've been shooting for quite a while and it needs a good clean. I'll. Um, after putting a lot of rounds through I'll stick that in first. So just give that a shake. Now, a couple of different points on this of which end is to uh, brush from when you spray. If you can imagine you're out shooting, your shot goes out the barrel obviously that way. So it comes out this way. And for me and my personal preference, this is all my personal preference, the dirt comes out that way, I want to force it back against itself. So dirt comes out, I'm going to force it back when I'm doing my brushing. So just get the spray. Be pretty generous and just spray down both ends. Get your wire brush. And just give it a couple of rolls. Now it doesn't matter at this point which end you come out. If you come out the way you came in or if you just bring it straight through, it actually does not matter. So pop her out the exact same way. If you can see the rubbish coming out here. And when you when you brush that through, you just hold the barrels up to the light and uh, just see what you're like. Now it will look sort of misty inside. You've only used the hard wire brush at this point, remember. So um don't be worried too much. A couple of wee, it depends how much you've been shooting. If you've only done a bit, a couple of wee rubs through there, that's fine, that's all you need to do. And um, what I like to do is then get a bit of, bit of cloth, a bit of mitten cloth from, a lot of guys who have guns will know this. 
and just cut a bit off. And cut another bit. Using a SOG slipzilla. And what I like to do is wrap the cloth up like that. Okay. And again, personal preference, I'm gonna go from the top of the barrels down towards the ejection port. Let's push that straight through, all the way through. You see how black that is? Let me show you here. That's how black that is. So just repeat that a few times on each one. If you don't want to wrap it around like that, you can also stick it on the top and just push it down like so. Straight through again. And you see it's getting cleaner. Have we look? And that is grand. There you are, two passes and that's fine. And uh, it's all about sight on this really. Um, you can spend hours and hours and hours cleaning it, but you don't have to. Now I might as well show you, you can, if you really want to, spend the money <coughs> and buy these safe wipes and then just cut them up if you don't want to buy the rolls of, of cloth. Just buy them. <coughs> Individual. Plus, uh, barrels stage one. Um, what I do when I'm nearly finished is then run just a bit of lubricant down the barrel on a soft cloth. <coughs> but um, we'll go on now to do the rest of the barrels. So I'll show you now here what I'm going to do. So again, just take our, our gun oil, our cleaning loop. I'm just going to spray the barrels very, very gently. Around the ejectors. Get a toothbrush, just an old toothbrush, and just go to work. Let's make sure that you get all the bits of copper from the shells out. You see we're all how dirty we are there. Let's give it a good clean. Pop the ejectors out and, and what I mean by that just pushing on the side of the ejector. Clean all inside there, all around here. Let's give that a good scrub. Let me get the cloth again. Just show you one of these wee wipes. A wee safe wipe. And all I'm going to do is just put my finger down the barrel just to wipe the excess oil off. Turn it inside out. And you should be able to see a difference. A lot cleaner now. Set our barrels down. <coughs> We'll go on now to our action <coughs> on our stock. You can see our fire pins um, here, just the two firing pins. What to be very careful about this is do not, I repeat, do not spray oil directly down into the firing pins. What will happen is they'll get clogged up with gunk, you can end up with a misfire. So what I do, hold it at an angle, a couple of wee puffs, just uh, for something different, we'll use the Napier. A couple of wee puffs, just on an angle, round here, and we're going to uh, clean it, just around there again, we'll clean it with the uh, toothbrush. A couple of 
couple of puffs, that's all you need, don't keep it on there. And scrub away. Keeping the barrel while they stock pointed down. So any oil is gonna gather down the bottom. And all you guys who are shooters will know the smells that I'm getting now. You can't really beat the smell of gun oil. Right, getting on our cloth. Just gonna wipe that clean. Don't forget when you're cleaning, clean around the trigger guard and around the trigger. Let's give that a wipe. Anywhere you see residue or bits of gunk, just clean that out. And then we've got a clean action. And for the fore end, uh, very, very simply, I'm just going to do a spray again and I'm going to clean around the springs in there. Just a wee puff again. Simple as that. That's all I'm really going to do with that. Right, just clean up a wee bit. What I'm going to do now guys is I'm going to take the chokes out. I'm going to clean them. So what I like to do is just take a cloth, now chokes are out, and just put my finger down just to get any Excess dirt because you can just feel the grooves there. Visual inspection all looks fine, right? Uh, cleaning the chokes very, very simple. Stick a choke key in just a wee cloth, give it a blast. That's it. That means you're putting a film of oil on the choke as well as um, making sure all the dirt's off it. And that's it. That's them done. Set them aside. Now, uh, for the bit I'd probably like the most doing i tear off a couple of bits of kitchen towel and uh, some beeswax, just traditional beeswax furniture polish. In the day guys this is wood so it's nice to keep the wood in good condition. Give it a bit of a shake up. It is waxy but it's, this is a bit soft this wax. Smell of beeswax, absolutely gorgeous. It's a Cambridge traditional products beeswax, traditional beeswax furniture polish. Simple as that. Let's dip in, put some wax on here, and just cover the stock. Don't do the checkering, try and avoid that. You don't want to get your checkering clogged up with beeswax. I can just hear some comments now. Yeah, come round to my house and clean mine. So just rubbing that 
beeswax all over the stalk. Not thick layers of it. Just a nice run over. And again avoid the checkering please. Clean bit of tissue and just buff. And yes, I do this every single time I clean the gun. This is not a one-off. Every single time I will use the beeswax. Just smell that. Mmm, yum. Smells really good. That's our um, stock. Clean action is clean, so we're just going to set that aside. I'm going to do our forehand as well. You see the beeswax there? It's it's quite gloopy. This means it's very easy to put on. Doesn't matter in circles or whatever way you want to put it on, just avoid the checkering. This ensures that you're protecting your stock, you're protecting your wood, you're keeping this firearm in tip top condition. Because there's nothing worse than thinking your firearms are in working order and you go out and you have an accident. And that's not fun. And again, just buff that up. And that's that clean. Now, we're going to put our chokes uh, back in all the way first and uh, then I'll loosen them for storage. Now what I mean by that is that's it for storage, just them loosening like that. The reason behind that is um, in case I don't shoot it for a while then at least they haven't seized, shouldn't seize anyway because they're treated with lubricant but you never know but for now just because I'm not totally finished I want to put them in, not murder tight, just hand tight and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to change the head now to the soft one We've all seen this, Hoppies number nine. Oh, smells great. And all I'm going to do is put a tiny bit splashed on the um, the rod. This is just to lube the barrel. So again, going in from the top of the barrel, one push straight through. And again, one push straight through. Visual check. Yep, yeah, 
see a nice film of oil down the barrels and they're okay. And just tidy up a wee bit of this. Right, so after cleaning and um, all that, tidying away some stuff, just going to reassemble the shotgun. And I'm only going to put the, I'm going to just give the barrels a quick wipe here first. So I'll just take a bit of kitchen roll. With a Napier spray. And just give it a run down the barrel. Simple as that. And put a four end on. Virtual check, nothing in the firearm, make sure everything works okay, which it does, and that is you clean. Uh, what I like to do is to leave a film of oil on the barrels, so um, just when you pick a gun up, when you pick a shotgun up, on any real firearm, it should feel oily. It's a very small film of oil and that just protects your, your gun. If you are going to go out shooting in the wet, um, if you know you're going out hunting um, with a shotgun in the wet, what I would highly recommend is in your gun slip, get a cloth, like a, a, a face cloth or something out there, spray it with a cleaner or a lubricant, and then, I mean embed the cloth with it. So if that's our cloth, just Spray it up, and then when you go out to shoot, it's in your gun slip, just give it a wee film of oil, and that'll just protect it from any sort of rust while you're out shooting. And that's it. So, there you go, guys, that is my video on how to clean a shotgun. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, any questions, comments, please put them down below. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, um, search for Mr. Fermanaman, Twitter, at Mr. Fermanaman, and um, I'll see you all guys in the next video. So thank you very much. There's my cleaning video on how to clean a shotgun. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.